So for singular targets versus multiple targets on, on a single nanot, is there any complexity added in manufacturing it or, or, or making it, or is this, an, is this not that big of a difference? You mean, is there additional complexity to make a nanot that targets more than one thing on that yeah. same nanot? Yeah. yeah, there's additional complexity. Um, so we use a, we use click chemistry, which won the Nobel Prize in 20, actually two years ago, won the Nobel Prize. Um, and not, not, we had nothing to do with it, but we've been using it for several years now um, because it enables us to attach multiple uh, moieties or molecular structures to the same particle in a very precise balance. It's like a Lego form of chemistry, but there's a limit to how many things you can, how many things you can attach to one particle in a precise way. So we know right now we, we attach two things. We attach uh, the capture agent and we attach the shielding molecules, those two things. And we have great precision and control to put them in just the right balance. They have to be in the right balance because if you have more capture agent than shielding, your particle will, will grab its target very efficiently, but it won't circulate very long because the immune system will see it. Two things will happen. One, the immune system will see the capture agents instead of the shielding and it'll clear them out. And two, the toxicity you're trying to avoid by engaging membrane proteins will be lost. You'll, you'll incur that toxicity. The protection will be lost. So you have to have the right balance of shielding and capture agents. And if you get that balance right, you'll have very high adsorptive capacity. You'll have no toxicity because there'll be no engagement of membrane proteins. And you'll have a very stealthy particle that circulates for a long time. Click chemistry allows us to do that when we only have two moieties or structures on the surface of the particle. We can do it up to three, so we could add two capture agents. I think we might be able to go to three capture agents, but it starts to get, the process starts to get harder and harder to control during the fabrication itself. So that's probably all I should really say about our internal chemistry. Um, mm -hmm. I think there's no limit to how many we can combine in the same syringe because they don't interact with each other. So that approach is open-ended. Check out the full video now and subscribe. It's free.